Warning, this is Jake's first walkthrough of Katawa Shoujo and is going down Emmy's route. Some contents may be inappropriate for kiddies. Previously on Katawa Shoujo. What are you doing down here at his show? Well, I came to see you, girl. What do you think? She looked... Oh, we say the B word. Beautiful. She looks beautiful. <laughs> Damn right. I'm Emmy... Ibarazaki, fastest thing on no legs. <laughs> and our story continues. Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land, Jake, the one-man band, is back again, bringing you entertainment in more ways than one. And where are we? What's going on? Don't really remember. We're back in Katawa Shoujo, I know that, but... Uh, apparently we have been... We haven't been forgetting to take our medicine, have we? I don't think so. I think we've been taking our medicine, but... I'm checking a little murmur. Like, heart murmur? <laughs> that's that's bad. That's def that's an irregular heartbeat for all of you who don't know. You should take it easy for a few days. Woo! Vacation! The nurse's words hurt me far more than the exhaustion of the morning run ever could. Take it easy for a few days. But I just started doing the running thing. I knew... I knew I sh should have kept quiet. I keep my eyes on the floor feeling like a complete idiot. Of course I haven't been remembering to take my medicine. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I've been rushing out of my room to get to, the, get to the track before Emmy. After the track meet a few days ago, I felt... inspired. Feeling inspired leads to death. <laughs> so I've been running warm-up laps in the morning before Emmy shows up. But then today, when she and I were running, I felt a little pain in my chest. It was only slight, and it was only for a second, so I mentioned it to the nurse. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I kept running and finished just fine, so really, it couldn't have been that bad. Why did I feel like I'm making excuses to the nurse? Because you kind of are. Moreover, why do I feel the need to justify continuing to run despite the pain? Really, it comes down to my being unwilling to concern Emmy, so who seems concerned anyway. I'm not sure how she was able to tell there was anything wrong, but she claims I stumbled a little. She's the only- she's the one who insisted I tell the nurse, so now I feel bad for worrying her at all. The nurse is shaking his head ruefully while Emmy paces outside the room. His show. I know it's difficult for you to get into a new routine, but if you don't want to find yourself in a lot of trouble, you're going to have to try harder. You can't afford to forget your pills, and you can't push yourself too hard, because we don't want to die. Last thing we want to do is that. We've already almost died like three times already. But if I don't push myself, how will I improve? I don't know where that came from. The nurse seems to have an idea. Now, where have I heard that before? He laughs and pats me on the shoulder. Ha, she's rubbing off on you, I guess. Yeah, well, Rin did say that we were becoming Emmy-ish. His expression changes again, and he's back to in serious mode. Look, I'm not saying you shouldn't push yourself, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be taking your medication, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't stop if your chest starts to bother you. You'd probably not have you prefer not to have any fatalities while I'm on, I prefer not to have any fatalities while I'm on staff here. That was funny once I learned how to actually read it. A bit of a lofty goal, to be sure, but I'm always up for a challenge. I hate to admit it, but I think he's right. I got to remember to take my medication. You're right. I'm sorry to worry you. Who's worried? You're a smart kid, right? Wink, wink. I know you can be responsible, Hishio. A situation like yours, you've got to you got to learn to be res responsible fast. I know, I know. His expression suddenly becomes devious. I suppose you've started to enjoy your runs with Emmy then. Eh, 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 wink, wink, nudge. Yeah, they've really been helping me. I mean, until today, I was feeling a lot more healthy. Plus, it's really... It's really impressive to see Emmy run. 
Do you see her run at the track meet? She was incredible. The nurse nods, grinning all the while. That's nice, that's nice. <laughs> so she, that she was, Hishio. I watched her first couple of races before I had some business to take care of, but she told me all about it. Kind of you to loan her your jacket, by the way. Oh, shut your mouth. Huh? Oh yeah, it wasn't a big deal. But I still haven't gotten that jacket back. I had honestly forgotten all about about that. I still haven't gotten it back. See? Mind reader, right here. The nurse gets a smile that seems to feel like he's just made a joke. Not to you, but Emmy certainly appreciated it. And I know she appreciates you running with her in the mornings. This one catches me off guard a little. Sure, she mentioned that it's easier to keep to a schedule with an extra person, but I didn't think that I was doing her a favor at all. I thought she was doing me a favor for helping me follow the doctor's orders. She tries harder when you're around. If there's someone else running with her, she's going to push herself more. And she tries even harder when they're around because, well, it's you. What the heck does that mean? What do you mean, what the heck does that mean? Oh, I'd love to know. You'd love to know, wouldn't you? He laughs in the style of evil megalomaniacs. <laughs> no, seriously, it's because you're her friend. If Rin ran with her, I'm sure she'd do the same. Well, probably. But that's not the point. The point is, you're, ha you're helping her, even if you don't know you are. And she's grateful for that, even if she never says it. What do you mean, even if she never says it? Because she probably won't ever say it. Emmy doesn't talk a lot, but she and I have known each other long enough that I can read her most of the time. I'll admit it, I have no idea what he's talking about. Oh man, Hishio, you're so, you're so lost in the world. Emmy's always, Emmy always seems pretty talkative to me. I see. The nurse suddenly realizes that he's been rambling and stops talking, looking a little embarrassed. Anyway, you don't have to stop your morning exercise. Just walk the track instead of running for a few days. Let things calm down. And take your damned medicine, boy! Oh, hi Emmy. You popped in out of nowhere. I laugh as I exit the office, bumping straight into Emmy. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Are you okay? Did the nurse... What did the nurse say? Do you need to go to the hospital? <laughs> wow, worst case scenario. Why don't you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was my fault, wasn't it? <laughs> I've been pushing you too hard, haven't I? I'm a horrible person. No, no, no. Stop, stop talking. The words pour forth, forth like a torrent. She's really agitated. I didn't expect her to be this concerned about me. I'm sorry, I yawned a little bit there, to be honest. Gotta calm her down, but how the hell do I do that? Um, have you tried... Chocolate? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to... I do the only thing I can think of. I give her a hug. Oh, so we go hug time. Okay, yeah, sure. Aw, this is nice music. This is nice music. Emmy tenses so up slightly so I pat her head in what I hope is a reassuring manner because <laughs> she's shorter than us we can pat her head hey settle down I'm fine okay no worries Kuna Matata I can feel Emmy's body relax as I continue to ass assure her I'm fine her arms wrap around me as if she's trying to confirm that I'm not about to fall over dead I catch a whiff of her hair Mmm, yeah, that's good hair smell. It smells like sw like sweat, or how adrenaline should smell. It's the scent of activity. And a hint of strawberries, from her shampoo, I suspect. Strawberries! Like Lotso Huck and Bear, from Toy Story 3. I just need to remember to take my medicine, that's all. Don't worry, ab don't worry about it! It's not your fault! You sure? Yes! Her voice is muffled, mostly because, at the moment, her face is pressed into my chest. Yeah, I'm sure. 
I just need to take it easy for the next few days. It suddenly occurs to me how close the two of us are. Bing! Heart. <laughs> it also occurs to me how nice being this close feels. Heart. Bigger heart. <laughs> I can feel Emmy's heartbeat calming down and I have to resist the urge to rest my chin on the top of her head. Thank goodness. You really had me worried there, Hishio. <laughs> the nurse comes out and he's probably like, Oh, what's going on out here, man? <laughs> Emmy, you going to come in here anytime soon? Oh, sorry, was I interrupting? <laughs> the two of us spring apart as if the other just caught on fire. Emmy brushes her hair back nervously and laughs. Of course not. I had... See you later, okay? Yeah. Oh, and Hishio? Hmm? Take your damn medicine! <laughs> this last phrase is particularly... is practically a punch to the shoulder. Well, at least not a punch to the gut. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember. See you later. The nurse smiles again as he is in on some joke. <laughs> Look at him! He's just like, ah, ha, 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 back there. I don't know about the some joke I don't know about and waves to me as I head out of the room feeling a burning in my cheeks. Aw, oh, you're blushing. I need a shower. A cold one if the thoughts running down my head are now in any indication. She was really soft. Yeah, girls are particularly girls are soft er than guys because I, I don't know why because they just are because they don't spend all their time working out in the hot sun. You know, picking up big old rocks and stuff. My pills are waiting for me while I make it to my room. I swallow them without a second thought. Good boy! Last thing we want you to do is keel over. Especially now. Be terrible. I'd probably cry. I don't know why I don't think of waiting until after the runs to take them. For some reason I figure it was when I woke up or not at all. But no, the only need... I only need... They only need to be taken every 24 hours. The exact time of day doesn't factor into it. My thoughts drift back to the hug in the hallway. It's weird. I'd expect someone to smell foul after a run, but for some reason, Emmy smelled right. Right. <laughs> the tinge of sweat just seemed to fit her. I really need a sh that shower. Cool your head. Oh, wow, we're already skipping again to another do flicky. Well, at least, well, I guess we're probably just skipping to the real important things. We're on the roof! Raise the roof! Dude, okay. Strange that it feels so natural for me to go up on the roof these days. I never would have done such a thing at my old school. In these days, I like, in those days, I liked to eat alone. No, that's not quite true. Thought I'd like to sit, thought I'd like to sit alone, and I always like to watch people. I always figured that was some, that was uh, the sort of person I was, but it appeared I was wrong. But it appears I was wrong. Can't talk. Can't talk. Need fluids. I apologize. Let's keep going. Then again. I also thought I was the sort of person who had a normal heart, so there you have it. I don't know myself that well. Now I'm on the roof so that I can have lunch with a, with a couple of people. And they're both girls, which is even stranger. Oddly enough, I feel closer to Emmy and Rin than I felt to anyone in my old school. Somehow, I get the feeling they'd at least visit me if I wound up in the hospital. Well, that's good. It's good to have friends. I focus on the view from the roof, banishing such thoughts from my head. There's a light breeze blowing and the sun is shining high in the sky. The sky itself is a deep blue with, ha with hardly a cloud in it. There's clouds and in continuity! It's gotten pleasant, pleasantly warm and as I sit down I wait for my friends. I close my eyes and enjoy the feeling of the sun seeping into my skin. 
So, I guess since the sun is coming out, it's getting warmer. Is it getting close to summer? Summer vacation, summer break. Woo, I don't know if the... It's the same in Japan. <laughs> Voices intrude upon uh, the edge of hearing. Seems to have fallen asleep on us, Rin. Maybe he's faking to lull us into a false sense of security. That would be something that Kenji would say. Speaking of which, where is Kenji? I haven't seen him in, like, forever. Why would he do that? No idea. Still, you make a good point. We should kick him or something to make sure he's really asleep. Huh? What? Emmy looms over me like only a short girl can, peering at me intently. Oh, you're awake! I guess we don't have to kick you then. Was that part of your master plan? What are you talking about? Emmy shrugs, her twin tails bouncing in the motion. It was part of my plan for her to kick me. Ah, Rin, you found me out. Shucks. I'm not sure either. You must have... You must be pretty tired to fall asleep out here. Although, it's pretty comfortable, I suppose. She plops down next to me and begins to eat. They get shorter a little bit. Rin sits opposite of us, of the two of us, and mo a move which only makes me more aware of the girl sitting next to me. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear Rin did it on purpose. Oh yeah! I mean, Rin obviously knows what go what's going on, even though his show doesn't. I concentrate on my food, trying to tune out the majority of the conversation that Rin and Emmy are having. Despite my best efforts, however, I still find myself glancing over at Emmy w whenever she speaks. I notice how she... Uh, purses her lip... Purses? Purses. Ah, the English language! Okay, I notice how she purses her lips when she's talking about something, squinting slightly as if that would improve her thinking ability. Rin says something that makes Emmy laugh, and I notice perhaps for the first time how she laughs with her whole body, rocking it back and forth, head thrown back, almost like she, she's about to fall over. Hmm. I probably look like a creep. Eh, maybe. Kinda, sorta. Depends if you get caught. It's about this time when I realize Emmy's looking at me. Her voice raised slightly, so she's probably just asked me a question. Huh? Sorry, I kinda zoned out for a moment there. Emmy rolls her eyes while a slight quirk of her eyebrow is the only sign that Rin's even paying attention. I said, did you get a career survey in your class too? Oh, great. We're discussing what we're going to do with the rest of our lives. You know, one of those what do you want to do after high school things? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe we'll get one tomorrow. What are you going to put down? insurance broker <laughs> I don't know it's a really good question I guess I always figured I'd go to college after high school but I have no idea what I would do once I got there you're every single guy in high school right now Hishio and with the heart attack and all I'd really be concentrating on each day as it came rather than making long-term plans I suppose I can safely start planning ahead again I've always liked having at least, at least a vague plan for the future, so it'll be nice to come up with one again. Of course, that doesn't change the fact that right now I've got absolutely no clue. I've always kind of assumed I'd figured it out in college, that or just become a salary man. That seems popular. But do I really want to? That's a tough question. I guess I don't really want to do anything. You don't sound very excited about that one, do you? She laughs as she says this, and I caught, and I'm caught up in her laugh again. It's so girlyish, high and giggly, like, well, pardon the cliche, like a babbling brook. Babbling brook. Babbling brook. Try saying that five times fast. I'll wait for you. 
How'd you do? Good? Bad? Doesn't matter. Because we're watching Katawa Shoujo right now, that's why. Doesn't matter. It bubbles out, out of her, starting in her belly and working her its way up her throat. I can't help but laugh myself. It's infectious. Hmm. Yeah, just like the flu. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm pretty unhappy with the salaryman idea. But to be honest, I haven't given much thought for the future re recently. I, su I suppose that these days I've been more concerned with living one day at a time. Emmy considers this for a moment and grins. That's a pretty good idea, Hisho. I just wrote down pirate. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh yeah, become a pirate. That that is I'm momentarily stunned. Then I start laughing. I stop myself and manage to gasp out a question. You're you're not actually serious, are you? Emmy looks mock offended. Well, I'm not well, I've got the legs for it already, so I just kind of figured. <laughs> it's funny because Peg legs and she has no legs, it's funny. <laughs> Even Rin seems amused by this. Just you wait, I'll be the terror of the high seas. I'll show you all! Yar! I be Captain Emmy and I be taking over your ship. I be the scariest and fastest thing on no legs on the high seas. Yar! Okay, I've been working on my pirate voice. She suddenly s springs up again, swaggering up and down the rooftop, shouting orders. Yar, me hearties, give me the broadside with the long guns. <laughs> I'll wear your guts for garters. Do you even know what that means? Rin, un un unexpected interruption stops Emmy in her tracks. Not really, but it's all in the delivery. But the ringing of the bell prevents her from demonstrating her point further. Emmy dashes off immediately, leaving Rin and myself alone on the roof. So, what's up, Rin? Rin stares at me intently for a few moments. Is there something wrong? Emmy considers the question closely for a moment. After a lengthy pause, she shakes her head. Nope. Uh, okay, um, why are you staring then? Rin shakes her head again. Nope. I don't get, I don't get it. Get what? The staring thing. You two seem to, you two seem to, but I don't. Great, she saw me staring, but, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> she saw me staring. Now she probably thinks I'm a pervert or something. Actually, probably not. This is Rin we're talking about, after all. Still, I feel the need to defend myself. I wasn't staring. I was just tired. Yeah, I... If, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that excuse. <laughs> Rin actually snorts at it, and she doesn't say anything. No, really! I was just distracted, is all. Distracted by Emmy and her... Emminess, maybe? Hmm. You're to end this conversation, I head back down to class. Oh, hey there. Shizune, Misha. Haven't seen you in... probably ten episodes. <laughs> I'm greeted by the twin specters of Sh Shizune and Misha, looking like they mean business. Well, Shizune looks like she means business anyway. Misha just looks like she's about to start laughing at any moment, so normal for Misha. Up on the roof again, Hitchan. Yes. You know it, that's dangerous, don't you? Dot dot dot. That's right. The school cannot be held responsible for any injury that comes from being up there, you know? Yeah, I know. Furthermore, we could report you for breaking the rules. What rules? Misha leans in and whispers... Conspiratorially. But we won't, Hisha. You three are too cute together. She straightens up again, laughing at my sudden blush. <laughs> You're too easy to tease, Hichan. Hey, come on! I'm still new here. Sort of. I, I don't even know how long I've been here. 
Isn't that mean to pick on a newcomer like this? Nope. It's to help you get acclimated to your new surroundings. Ah, I see. Well, do you have to do it so overzealous? Do you have to be so overzealous about it? Yep. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Ah, that aside, Hishan, we were looking for you this morning, but you weren't in your room. Of course I wasn't. But wait, wait, you went in my room? Stalkers! <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was out for my morning exercise, or here in class, bright and early. Unlike you. Shune, Shizune looks peeved. And a beat later, so does Misha. Or she tries to, at any rate. That was because a student of student council business. You should be grateful that we work so hard for you. Oh, I am, I am. So what do you need me for? Not another attempt to rope me in on their dirty work, I hope. We have... We had to give you something, but since you weren't around, we dropped it off and you... That was weird. <coughs> oh, man. That sneeze, it was waiting for me. It snuck up... Stupid sneezes, okay. We dropped it off in your room. Something like what? Oh, you'll find out when you get back, Hishan. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is gonna be terrible? What's how en entering the room ends our conversation and we all head to our seats. It's only after I settled down in my desk that the teacher started talking about something or other that something odd strikes me. What did mean? What did Rin mean? The two, the two, you two seem to. Was Emmy staring at something too? Probably, probably at you. Because, you know, you were staring at her, she stares at you, there's a overlapping staring cycle. If we could harness that power, we could probably power the world forever. For a brief moment, I considered the possibility that Emmy was staring at me the way I was staring at her. Of course that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, cause a girl looking at you is ridiculous. Still, I can't deny that I wouldn't mind if it were true. But it's best not to think on of that. No need, to, no need to get my hopes up. Come to think of it, when I did start having hopes like that anyway, you almost died. <laughs> I shake my head in, a, in an attempt to cl clear it and focus on the lesson. Tick tock, tick tock. After class, I make my way to my room. Matao really piled on the homework today. Oh, Kenji, yes! Thank you, I've been meaning to see you, my friend. And I guess with that, we'll end this episode here. Like and favor if you've enjoyed, subscribe, of course. And yeah, we'll just keep trucking along and cut to a shoujo. This has been Jake and One Man Band, bringing you entertainment in more ways than one. And I will see you guys next time. See you! Full size.